Okay, so this is my strategy and tutorial on how to successfully survive for a long time in Kino Totem and act to activate the secret song. Alright, so. Alright, I'm gonna go straight towards the first piece. It's in the corner there. And you just hold X and you activate it. And you just have the sound. And pretty much just stick in this room. Have put about six shots if you want into them, then one knife. And that probably get you the most points that it uses up most of your ammunition. Or you can just put three or more shots into them. <coughs> so yeah, that'd probably work. And then if you run out of ammunition, and you have about 2,000, just open the first door and get an MPL, like I show you later on. So yeah, just, and buy a quick revive as soon as you possibly can. So, right there, I'll grab it. So, grab quick revive in about round two, because that's probably when you need it. And as you can see, I'm just knifing them. And in this one, they kind of attack you before you even get close to them. And as you can see, I've opened the first room and got the MPL. So you can just stick with that. What I think is best is just stick with the MPL. <clears throat> so you've got like around 7,000, or that's probably when you probably die if you have 7,000. But I, in this game, I stay in this room with the MP until the dogs come. They just go outside and get the AK 74 u You can just go and get the AK 74 u first, that would be a pretty good strategy. But, I did it this way. So as you can see, I've gone outside. The dog wave just started. So I'm using the rest of my MPL. And then I start using my 74 u on them. So the dogs are going. <clears throat> and later on, if you can, keep using the bot until you get the thunder gun and then just upgrade that to the Zeus cannon, just use that on the dog, it's a one hit kill no matter what wave you're up to and you get max ammo at the end of every dog round as everyone knows so okay so what you need to do now is just activate the teleporter yeah, just that zombie just activate the teleporter and upgrade your AK-7 for you. Then just stick with that for probably the whole game. If you get bored with it, you can just go through the box and buy weapons with the amount of money that you'll be making. So, pack one 7 for you. And just chuck a few grenades off the edge. We'll just waste my ammo for that weapon. Alright. So you can see I got it upgraded. AK-7 for you. Or FE2, what it's called. <sighs> um, there you just keep hitting them off the edge. And with the amount of ammunition you've got in this weapon, from the amount of time, when you run out of ammunition, like, when you run out of ammunition, just go buy some more, because pretty sure I start my. Yeah, I start it this round. Right, so you're going to want to grab Juggernaut uh, at about round 8 or before. Grab it as soon as you can. Just two hit death if you want to try to do it before. Right, so you start running there as soon as the round changes. And then you walk through here. You can sprint if you want, but you're just going to die. But I sprint a little bit so I can throw a grenade. And then you just keep walking. Just walk around. At the earlier waves, if you try to do this, you're just going to run into loads of zombies because they come out a lot quicker so, well they come out a lot more so I see one there there's a few more downstairs which aren't supposed to be there and not lay around so I kind of get trapped a little bit later on in the game I get trapped and die in an early round that's why I lose one set of quick revive and I got past that amazing and I, got, I get trapped a few times in the earlier round. Try not to do the running around in the earlier round, try to do them later on. 
So you just keep running around. Good dog. Okay, so now as you can see I've got the thunder gun. I'm wasting all my ammo now because I'm gonna go back to my ship. So yeah, up to round 12 now. Just going to attack on thunder gun. I think I still have the AK, yeah I still have it. So attack punch my thunder gun. So at the bottom left bottom right of my screen you can see I have a DVD. You put it into the projector and it plays on the screen. So yeah, Zeus Cannon, there you go. So I'll put the DVD in. Chuck a few more grenades off the edge. And I I found out how to jump up on the ledge, it's pretty cool. Can't stand up though. Clear. Okay. So yeah, same strategy, just run around, up to round 12 right now, I'm in the Pentagon room, so found, found another DVD, I didn't even see it there. So yeah, just run around like normal, but I'd, I'd probably say around wave 11 you want to start sprinting around, more walking and sprinting like I am now. And you can occasionally turn around like that. But you're most probably going to get killed if you try to do that, so I wouldn't recommend doing it. But I got quite a few drops then. So just running around. Another thing, if you're running around, like I am now, I forgot to do this because I just got a nuke, I didn't really... Oh yeah, get claymore as soon as you can as well. It's another thing you can do. But, one of the main things that you're going to need to do if you're running around, keep the Zeus cannon out, because you're going to need it if they run in front of you. And I'm pretty sure I'll pull it out in a sec. Dodge him. And here's the second piece. You just hold X on it and I almost die again. See my, my amazing escape. That's how pro I am. <laughs> Joke. So you need your Zeus can now in case that happens. So you can see I get trapped a few more times. You can jump over them but in a narrow hallway I wouldn't really recommend jumping. So, activate the auto turret. Seems like a pretty good thing to do. And you just waste them down there. Another thing to do, if you have aim assist on, just hold it down to your aim and then shoot and keep tapping the left trigger and you'll just keep headshotting them. And they've made it in this not the zombies. If you hit them on the head, it's mostly an instant kill. So try aim for headshots in the higher rounds as well. Because it's pretty much just a normal kill. So yeah, just keep doing that. Alright, now I'll show you later on in the game. Okay, so we just finished the dog round at round 20. This is where the last piece of the song is. Grab my camera, you run into the dressing room. And you sit to the right on the stand. You hold that song to it. And it says you've got the last piece and the song starts to play. So I hope you enjoy the song. You can play it later on because I'm not going to have much time left on my video. So try it out for yourselves. It's by... Oh, I forgot it's done by, but... Yeah, I know the song's called 115. They did the same for... Uh, Shino Nema, The One and all that stuff. And they did the same for the starting of... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Snatch Dylan Token. And so, yeah, and just keep doing the thing again, buy speed cola and yeah, as you can see I've got the ray gun and the thunder gun, so just keep doing the strategy that I've done. Okay, so as you can see I'm just wasting my ammunition for my thunder gun, because I'm gonna, I got extremely bored, because I've already done this before, I'm about to waste 38, that was a single player, but I hate how Treyarch, the dickheads that they are, they just straight away 
type of single bar writing to get a better single bar, but yeah, I'm just wasting on ammunition so if I get bored. Not that I can't do it, I can do it, I'll just get extremely bored. So, yeah, I just waste a last bit of my ammo and buy an MPL. Maybe I've just used up my ammunition, MPL. I don't know why I just grabbed it, I just got bored. So, yeah, it's actually not that bad. Well, not that bad, it's terrible. <laughs> so I just let myself die as dead, and there we go. And that was my strategy and my amazing fail. So, hope you liked it, and subscribe please. And yeah, and like and subscribe for more videos. Alright, see ya.